All right, what is up, everybody? It's your boy Tokyo Saga once again. Um, how are you guys doing on this fine Friday? We're here. Obviously, I am not actually playing a game. This is a voiceover because we're going to be talking about the worst class, the worst character in each class. Now, before we get into this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you are enjoying the My Hero Ultra Rumble content, especially videos like this where I do the little voiceovers. Listen, y'all want to watch this match? Stay to the end. This junk was fired. This whole match was pretty freaking good. Um, you know, overhaul. Obviously, we were going crazy with this guy. But let's get into the freaking video. The worst, the worst character in each class. Mostly my opinion. Um, I do think some of these things are just objectively true. But you know, be sure to let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Anyways, let's get into it. Now I'm gonna start off controversial right off the freaking bat. <laughs> right off the freaking bat, we're gonna go and wrap it. And I genuinely do, with a passion, think that the worst rapid is twice. Now, I, <laughs> I know that's crazy. I know that's crazy, but hear me the freak out. Uraraka, she got better movement. I think she, like, bro, she has better damage, too. And I feel like twice as of recently this season, I don't know what happened to him. Like I said before. I don't see twice as much of a threat as I used to. He does not he does not hurt me nearly as much as Mario does, as much as Froppy does, as much as Uraraka does. Froppy, she got the special action, that's crazy. She got better movement also. Her damage is also great when she has the beta. You know what I'm saying? Twice as clones, it's like they're freaking stupid now. They don't like I don't know. It's like they're just so easy to hit. Their aim, like aim bot went down drastically, so you can dodge them a little bit easier. You know what I'm saying? Like and since a lot of characters have projectiles these days, when they do spawn, when you know, twice do like spawn the clones or whatever, it's very easy to just smack them out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, that doesn't mean twice is bad. Nobody on this list is bad, first of all. It's just that some characters are just more overpowered. You know what I'm saying? So, I know twice your boy. Don't take offense, though. You know what I'm saying? Who else was there? Mirio. Mirio, he's one of my favorites. He's probably my favorite from the Rapid Clash next to uh, Bakugo. Uh, I feel like his movement is just the best among every character in the game, probably, besides, like, special action, um, special action Uraraka. Um, the way he can, like, you know, if you're, if you're fighting a team, too, especially, like, Mirio can really be catching you off guard over and over again if you're not looking out for him. And that junk, it hits, bro. It hits. Um, but let me know what y'all think. Y'all agree, disagree. Y'all think I'm losing my freaking mind. Think it twice. <laughs> twice is the worst. Now... I can see an argument for um, Froppy. I can see an argument for Froppy. Um, I honestly could see an argument for either or. I can see an argument for any of them besides Uraraka. I feel like Uraraka, I feel like ever since that buff, she's kind of going crazy right now. Um, but yeah. I can see argument for Mirio especially. I know some people, you know, it's, you kind of got to go through a lot. His beta can be very unsafe. You know, all that crazy stuff. But um, anyways, let's move on. Assault, I feel like this one is more easy, honestly. Um, I got the worst uh, character for this class as Kendo. You know what I'm saying? Kendo, uh, she's not bad by any means, but obviously all my in Assault Shigaraki are just, you know, they, they, they're, they're not even in this discussion. Of, <laughs> like, they're like one of the best in the game, you know. I know Deku, Assault Deku has been getting, you know, nerfed kind of crazy right now but um uh, yeah oh yeah rapid also yeah we got a uh, rapid bakugo i don't think rapid bakugo is bad at all i forgot to mention rapid bakugo i think he when you maximize his potential he could be one of the best rapids so yeah that's why I, i'm not picking rapid bakugo anyways back to the assault um yeah i could see arguments for assault deku but my only reason i don't pick assault deku is because i feel like i feel like he's more versatile uh, uh, almost um I feel like he has better range. I think he has more damage overall. I think he has the great special action. I think he has better movement. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that Kendo's bad. When she's working with a team, bro, she's like, she could be a great support for the freaking team, bro. She can support the team greatly, you know, especially with her beta. Her clap can go crazy at times. But, you know, the assault class is just kind of killing it at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then there's Kirishima, which, ooh, Kirishima. You know what? I actually forgot Kirishima was an assault. <laughs> that is actually crazy. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because there's something to be said about this. You know what? I changed my mind. I think Kirishima is the worst in the assault class. I forgot he was an assault character. Um, 
Yeah, I, I play with I play with Kirishima, but it's just like so many characters can easily counter him. I have such a hard time getting in close. You just you just like they're like running up on him, and you're just taking, you know, freaking what you call it straight to the face. Projectiles just straight to the face over and over again. That junk is just not fun, bro. Um, his movement is man. You know his damage when he does land it is nice, but um, you know what I mean. I also do think Kendo can be more helpful for the team too, so I, I probably got to give it to Kirishima. That's the worst rapid, not the worst rapid, the worst assaults. You know what I'm saying? Moving on, strike. I feel like this one is kind of easy, easier. Well, I would say Bakugo is the worst strike. Um, I think Shigaraki is great where he is at. I think obviously strike Deku and strike Dobby are just crazy right now. Like probably the two best characters in the whole game right now. Um, who else is there? There is. Um, Give me a second. Yeah, but there's also, um, whatchamacallit, Endeavor and, what is it, Dinky. Now, the reason I picked Bakugo, now keep in mind, I haven't played the Endeavor since his buff. Um, but Bakugo, I feel like what really puts him below the other people are just all the other strikes. I feel like they do more damage than he does, honestly. Like, that's all it is. Like, Dinky, he does more damage. You know what I'm saying? Strike Deku, Strike Dobby. Even Endeavor, I think he does more damage. You know what I'm saying? Dinky, he doesn't have better movement than Strike Bakugo, but his, his damage makes up for it so drastically. He catches you off guard, it is over, bro. It's over. Now, Strike Bakugo is not bad. He's one of my favorite characters. I play him all the time. I get the most damage with him. But, you know, objectively speaking, I feel like, he, you know, he, you got to work a lot harder for his damage compared to the other, other Strike characters, especially like Dobby and Strike Deku. You know what I mean? And Endeavor, his Beeman freaking... Yeah, I'm not even about to get, I'm about to, I'm only about to get into that. Uh, moving on. Support. I was actually thinking about this, and honestly, I got to say the worst support is Ibra. With that being said, there's also Mr. Compress, um, Overhaul now. There's also, who else is there? Mr. Compress, Ibra, Overhaul. There's one more that I'm forgetting. Oh, Momo. Momo. Now, at first I was going to say Momo's the worst. But the reason I put um, Ibra as the worst is because I feel like I feel like what's really making me put that there is all of her moves can be very unsafe. Like if you miss, you're subjected to get you're, you're subjected to taking like projectiles straight to the face back to back, and you can get punished so hard. Um, her special action is great. She got great long range. She also has like no movement. She has like the worst movement in the game next to Overhaul and like um, who else is there? Uh, technical Dobby. You know, Momo, I think she does have better movement with her shield. You know, she can get hit from behind, but, you know what I'm saying? If you really want to get away, you can in some in some situations. Also her, also, her cannons, you can, like, prop them up, you know, at certain doors or whatever. And I feel like Mr. Compress, mm, Mr. Compress, I feel like it's his, um, I would say Mr. Compress is if this was the earlier seasons, but because his, 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 Freaking whatchamacallit, Alpha is just so crazy right now. I can't really say it's Mr. Compress, but I can see arguments for Mr. Compress. Uh, I feel like over, I feel like overhaul, and what else, Cementos. Uh, Cementos, nah, man. Cementos, if you maximize his potential, bro, he is crazy, man. And even if you don't, bro, it's like, you know, he has a lot of good tools, bro. I feel like you can't really put Cementos in that category, you know what I mean? Um, if you say Cementos, bro, I guarantee you do not know how to play Cementos properly, bro. I guarantee you. Like, if you, bro, Come on, man. You you come across crazy Cementos. They could just 1v3 a whole team, bro, like that. I've never seen no one more than a freaking Cementos 1v3 a team as much, bro. So, yeah. That's why I got to give it to Ibra, you know. She's also – but she's really good, though. Her long range, but she can hit the freak out of you. But, her, but, you know, Mr. Compress with his stun lock overhaul with his crazy moves right now. Cementos with his, you know, versatility, his battle movement, all that good stuff. Momo with all her crazy tools. You know what I'm saying? I got to give it uh, Ebra as the worst. Moving on. Supports. Now, I feel like this is probably the easiest one on the list, being Technical Dobby. Now, by no means is Technical Dobby bad, but just look at the Technical class. We got Aizawa, we got, we got Toga, and we got All for One. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, come on. Now... Yeah, Technical Dobby is not bad, but Toga, she has a record for being, like, the most, probably the most annoying character. People have been begging for a nurse since forever with that girl. All for one, I did, I never heard he got nerfed, though, but uh, I don't think it's nothing too crazy. All for one, he got great tools, all that. Do, strike, um, strike, 
Technical Dobby, I feel like he's just, you know, he's just not. He's balanced. That's the that's the and that's the crazy part. He's just balanced. It's just like the other characters in the game are just kind of crazy. And you know, Aizawa, he's you know his versatility. Uh, he got good movement. He got good damage to combos. All that good stuff. So yeah, I gotta give it to Technical Dobby. Um, I feel like he doesn't measure up. He don't got the he don't got enough movement. He don't got enough damage. He don't got enough something that the other technical classes do. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think, what you guys agree, disagree with, and until the next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe today to join the Shinobi family. With that being said, peace. Let's get it.